Welcome, welcome everyone. Today I want to talk to you guys about have you ever felt like you've failed? Oh, the feeling is just so there, you know, and then once it hits, it hits and it just spirals like dominoes, right? You you can't just fail at one thing without failing at absolutely everything else you touch ever after that. You know, it's like everything you touch is, everything you touch is like instead of it turning to gold, it turns into a failure. Everything. You can't just fail once. If you give a mouse a cookie, if you give a person a failure, I mean, it, it doesn't stop, right? <laughs> it doesn't stop. How can we stop this spiral? How can we stop this never-ending, bottomless spiral of failure? I want to ask you first, what exactly does failure look like to you? What exactly does failure look like to you? For your first failure, the thing that, you know, ignites this, this the spark that ignites this flame... What was that failure in your opinion? Like, did you actually fail or was it just something that you could have done better or you could have done differently or you could have maybe researched more? You know, was it a legit failure? Was it a legit failure? I want you to really break this down because most of the time it's probably not. Even if Okay, you got fired from your job. You failed. Could it still have a silver lining? Silver lining, sorry. Could it still be a blessing in disguise? Maybe you failed, but do you really think that it's not, in the large picture, somehow going to benefit you? Do you really, really, really believe that the world is actually going that hard on you and that it's actually not going to somehow turn around to your benefit. I think so many times we get so stuck in this mindset of believing that, yeah, everything is out to get us. The entire world is actually, in fact, out to get us. Which is honestly such a narcissistic thought to have, like, that we are that, all that, that, yeah, the world is just out to get us because we are so much of a target. I mean, in some respects, sure, but in so many other respects, does anyone actually give a single crap if you really, really think about it? Everyone, in fact, is so, and I hate to be throwing out this word narcissistic because I know it's blown so out of proportion these days, but it really is. Everyone these days is truly so self-absorbed and self-absorbed and so narcissistic that nobody, and I mean nobody, really, truly, really gives a crap about you more than they give about themselves. They're so worried about themselves, which is an entire another topic in and of itself. People are so focused on what they are portraying and what people think of them and their own insecurities and this entire aura that they're putting out there that they do not care at the end of the day what you're doing. In fact, if they do care about what you're doing, it's because it somehow probably threatens them and their own insecurities. So it all just goes back to that. So anyway, what does a failure really look like to you? Really? What does it, if you really break it down, why is it, why is whatever you are putting this label on of fail? I failed. That was a fail. I'm a failure. Why are you giving it that power? Why are you giving it that power? And then why are you also 
allowing said thing to rule every other decision, every other thought that you may have as just a ripple effect of the said fail. Why are you allowing that one thing that maybe was a mistake, maybe was not, to then ripple into every single other thing that you might touch from that. Do you know what I'm saying? I, My brain is literally fried. I've been in the sun for two days and I... <laughs> I cannot think of the words that I'm trying to get out of my head right now. But you know what I'm trying to say. I know you know what I'm trying to say. Why are you letting this one said quote failure to snowball into all these other failures? Why not address the fact that, okay, I could have handled said situation differently or better. I could have just researched more. Maybe I messed up. Rather than learning from it and having the self-awareness to dive into that and be like, this is what I need to change. I see that now. I Maybe I did fail to play the part that I should have, but I'm going to learn from it and I'm going to better myself knowing what I know now, rather than playing the victim narrative. Rather than playing the victim narrative. Does this not all come back to narcissism? Yet again, I'm just noticing this as I'm saying it out loud. This is very much a narcissistic trait, and I was not intending to bring this into this discussion, but it is. It totally is. Are we not having a narcissistic effect on literally ourselves, on ourselves, gaslighting ourselves, narcissists will utilize past hardships to end up playing victim and doing away with what's happening in the present because they cannot take the blame for it, for it. They refuse to. They'd rather play victim than realize, oh, they might have actually been at fault. Am I trying to say that we're all narcissists here? That's really not where I'm trying to go with this. But my niche is now my niche. Why do I keep saying niche? It goes both ways, doesn't it? Is um, targeting entertainers because I realized this is who I really want to work with as entertainers. I've broken it down so many times. I'm working with my own personal coach right now. He's amazing. Um, and so to project the fact that we may all be narcissists. <laughs> I mean, if the shoe fits. I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to say that. If the shoe fits. As I, as I just mentioned earlier, I am not trying to throw out you know, this term loosely, I know that it is very much thrown out way too, way too just wrongfully right now in the world. And it is. But we also are living in the golden age of narcissists. We really are. I mean, everyone in this day and age, I think, is showing a tremendous amount of narcissistic traits more than any other generation ever has because... We are living in the golden age of literally glorifying ourselves, all of us. I mean, look what I do for a living. Like, yeah, it's, it is what it is in this day and age. And I don't think that it's necessarily like, you know, to be taken out of context, but it is also to be put into perspective that this is the world we're living in at the moment. Okay. I'm getting extremely off topic from where I was originally trying to go with this topic. I'm going to do uh, another episode on where I was originally trying to go with this episode, which is how can we have failures and just be okay with it? 
how can we just be okay with it? This episode was a little bit more like psychological. I think this was informative though. It gives you something to think about. So I would like for you to think about it. Think about it. Just chew on it, spit it out if you want to. Let me know in the comments below if you agree with this. And yeah, subscribe for more. Check out my social media at Make Waves Coach for more inspirational content. Also check out my podcast, Make Waves Mermaid Cassandra, available every place podcasts are found. Also check out my socials at Mermaid Cassandra as I am a professional mermaid. That is my entertainment career. And yeah, I will talk to you guys soon. Go out there and make waves. Thank <laughs> you.